जयपुर अहमदाबाद दिल्ली में आपका स्वागत लखनऊ जंक्शन Ah uh, well, it started well for Punjab. They got 97 in the first ten, but they've pretty much bottled the back ten, and that means that Lucknow, uh, the home team, has won the game. They've got the two points, and Punjab falling short, falling short kind of considerably, right? 21 runs they fell short of, and and they got a little close because uh, Liam Livingston hobbling, but managed to get a few hits in that last over. But the game was all uh, done and dusted. So yeah, there you go. That's the story. Lucknow winning the toss and choosing to bat first. Quinton De Kock getting uh, a half century, but it was Krunal Pandya and Nicholas Puran. both with uh, kind of similar 43 of 22 for kronal 42 of 21 for puran uh, they are the ones with that 200 strike rate knock that took lucknow up to 199 uh, sam karan picked up three wickets there for punjab it was a great opening partnership the best one in the tournament yet a 100 plus stand between shikhar dhawan and johnny besto uh, but after that things went really pear shaped for them for lucknow well the talk of the town and all the towns everywhere is this young lad called mayank yadav who at 21 was throwing fireballs one after the other well uh, you're watching cricket buzz live i'm gorav kapoor with me two fireball throwers michael warn and harsha bhogle some fireballs coming from them as well quick word on mayank first uh, michael yeah exciting pace it's uh, i guess mystery spin um wonderful stroke play and then pace that's the the three real dimensions of cricket that we we, we always kind of uh, get glued to the tv screen it was his first over actually to johnny bast he cut one through him and, and and i think we were in the the green just all oh, that looked quick and it was 150 and then he got one to 155 uh, a great story just 21 years of age and uh, the first time he's been seen properly yeah, and it's yeah. uh, a really good uh, first time to win his team let's be honest he won he won the game for yep. his team which is a a great effort the first 10 overs was an exhibition of how to chase 200 the second 10 overs of the punjab but it was an exhibition of how not to chase 200 Anything. yeah yeah e- exactly yeah panic stations but pace it does that to batting units when you've got someone that can bowl that kind of pace all three dismissals are exactly the same three players trying to play the pull shot the balls on too quickly and now the question that all of you have is where did he come from who is he and mr <laughs> bogle has the answer for you all easiest choice of player of the match today easiest choice he's my player of the match today played dev the trophy this year was when he first attracted attention mm-hmm. and got in because navdeep saini got injured now poor saini is have is been injury ridden all through his career so he gets a game he picks up 12 wickets the other guy everybody is talking about on the domestic circuit is vidwat kavirappa mm-hmm. from bangalore he picked up 13 and uh, mayank yadav got 12 but went for trials got picked by lsg and then missed the whole of last season because he was injured yeah So now he comes in and apparently is making people hop much like Umran Malik did at Sunrisers. Yeah. Umran Malik came to Sunrisers because Abdul Samad pleaded with them to use him as a net bowler. True. And then he came in. I I hope as I see more and more of him that he gets the ball to swing. You know you look at a bowler like Naseem Shah of Pakistan. Mm. You know Sir runs in bowls really quick but bowls a beautiful out swinger. I'd love to see the other balls developing which I'd hope to see in Umran Malik and I still hope to see. Yeah. but uh, this kid i mean he was easy you didn't get the feeling he was mm-hmm. and then bowling 145 or 50 you know yeah that's what he says his idol is dale stain you see it right it's there if you can dale swing stain, it like dale stain wow. yeah i mean i mean again it's his first time out really so yeah. uh, the opposition will now that know that he can bowl 150 yeah um like umran malik the, the problem with umran is not really developed different variations yes. Now you look at the action that we've seen today and you think for that's a pure action yeah. and it's such a smooth action that he could quite easily just bowl one of those back of the hand slow balls yeah. and just flick it out the back of the hand and over time in T20 cricket you've just got to keep adding keep adding new skills and the the main skill that he's got and the best skill he's come all quick and yeah. let's be, let's be honest, he, he, he will be able to swing the ball because it looks like he's got a nice 
upright seam position, but then if he can add a few, he might have them. We've just not seen them today. He didn't need them today, he just needed pace. Yeah. Uh, but if he can add a few variations as well, he's uh, he's got a repetitive action. That's first and foremost. You look at the action, the smooth run up, the release, everything about it looks pure. And as Harsha said, it came out at 150 without looking like too much of an effort, which is... Uh, it's exciting for India. Yeah, I remember yeah. talking to Vaz many years ago, Vasim. He said you can teach a fast bowler to swing a ball, but you can't teach a bowler pace. True. So if you've got pace, then you st you've got so much to work with. Yeah. And, and that is something very few are gifted with. So I just hope he can look after his body yeah. and start to get to swing the ball. And phew, yeah. I'll nice. tell you who else has to look after their body. Anybody he bowls short to, they got to look after their body <laughs> as well. And today, uh, well, there was pace, there was bounce. He rushed it on to the batters and he got uh, three out. He got Johnny Bairstow, Prabh Simran and Jitesh Sharma. Yeah. That's a good roll call for your first game. So. Absolutely. One of them is a bona fide international player who's been playing for such a long time. Yeah. So maybe he got caught a bit by surprise. He's the kind of player who'll, who'll adjust to the pace. I was a little disappointed Jitesh Sharma went for the pull shot, was late. He's an yeah. India player. Yeah. An India player late on the pull shot. Prabh Simran Singh, ambitions of playing for India as an attacking batter. Yeah. So he's got, as you said, three proper batters out to that ball. Yeah. The thing will be, when he comes into ball now, in the next game, people know what to expect. So now it'll be interesting to see how he gets his wickets. Well, let me ask Michael Vaughan, even when you know you're going to expect 150, Still not easy, right? No, it's not easy. In yeah. actual fact, Shikha Dewan, the experienced left-hander, he played a beautiful shot. Yeah. He just used the pace, just opened the blade, and it flew down to third for a, a nice, easy, easy boundary. And that's what real quality players will do. They'll just use the pace. And again, they'll be able to see something in the action when that short ball's coming and get, get prepared, the hand's a bit higher. If you actually look at all the three players that got out to the pull shot, the hands are quite low. Yeah, quite low. So they went from low to high, and it just spooned in the air. Uh, when you're facing pace, if you're going to be pay, 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 playing that pull shot, hook shot successfully, you've got to get your hands high, mm. and then you just tap it down into the ground. And um, yeah, exciting. You always see, you know, plenty of excitement in the IPL, but there's something about pace. When and if some not... fresh kid comes out of the box, and you've not seen him, not heard him, and it's pace, you go, wow. You just hope he gets. Well nurtured, you hope he gets a little bit of rest and time, he gets his chance to work that body out. Um, but yeah, Pace, it's really exciting. And not just, uh, it's not just being impressed with his 155.8 that he bowled today, and it's not just, you know, it's the wickets, it's also the fact that he actually changed the game. There was uh, the first 10 overs, Punjab at 97 for no loss. Both Shikhar Dhawan and uh, Johnny Best are going well. You think they're going to shepherd this chase? They're going to take it home? Seems fairly easy to get, you know, just a smidge over 10 in the back 10 with all your wickets available. Uh, they, you know, but then that's when it changed. Ravi Bishnoi first bowled the 11th over for, I think, three or four runs, three runs. And then Mayank Yadav came into the attack. He bowled the 12th over for six runs. And then he bowled the 14th over for eight runs, but got the wicket. He got the wicket in his first over and he got a wicket in the second over. So that's where you can fairly say, Harsha, he changed the game. Yeah, he did, 100%. Yeah, he tripped the chase up completely. And he took all the attention away from required red, asking red. All we were watching was what's the next ball looking like. Yeah. But uh, he changed. He changed the game. There's no doubt. He's a very easy player of the match choice today. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. I mean, it's easy to say because you know the thing with Punjab is there's this narrative, and Virinder Sehwag always says, you know, they carry the axe with it. They axe their own feet. Uh, but today it was. I don't <laughs> think you. Can, it's his favorite thing to say. It's Viru's favorite thing to say that they'll always bottle the chase up. But today it, I. I don't think it was as much about them bottling it as it was just just great bowling in the back 10 from Lucknow. No, they, no, no, they bowled well in the field nicely, but I, I just think there's too much complication in terms of batting lineups. Okay. You know, Sam Curran's playing well. Yeah. The reason why Sam didn't probably bat at number four, Jitish Sham went and he got six off six to kind of that momentum suddenly start to sway and the rate started to get. Uh, quite a difficult rate for the Punjab team, but it was because Shikhar Darwin's out there, the left-hander. And while the left-hander was out there, they were thinking, well, we're not putting another left-hander out there. But Sam Curran's in good form. Yeah. Surely you want Sam Curran to go in higher, even if it takes five or six balls for him to get, and he's in good form and he can then catch up. Uh, by the time Sam Curran, and particularly when we, we didn't think Liam Livingston was going to bat. That's right. So when you've got Liam Livingston who's going to bat and he's just going to come out swinging down the back end, well, even more so that you need Sam Curran to go a little bit higher up the order. Yeah. So I just think a lot of this, this thought process about right hand, left hand, uh, left arm spinners to only right hand batters, um, I just think they're overcomplicating life just that little bit. Just get your best players and your best bowlers bowling. At the, uh, yes, you have matchups and at times when you just know that certain bowlers are certain players, but... 
I just think they're getting a little bit streamlined into one way of thinking. And the perfect example was in the chase. Sam Curran should have gone up the order. Yeah. It- and I'm a little worried for them because from what I saw of Liam Livingston, I don't think he's playing for a little while. It, it um, didn't make any sense to no. see him come out there. The chase was pretty much gone by then. You've got him, Hobble Telescope coming out. It's like, what's, what's the point I'm already looking at, I mean, I'm looking at who they can pick. I don't think they've got a lot of, the only other Indian bat is Atharva Taide. Yeah. So they can either look at uh, Sikandar Raza or look at Riley Russo. Mm. Now, Riley Russo comes and picks up big paychecks and I wish him well, but he's not delivered so far in the IPL. So, so hopefully, he does that everywhere else. He's, yeah. he's one of the guns in T20 cricket around the world. So maybe he'll come and play the role that Livingston has, has been playing. Yeah. But he's, he's a big miss, Livingston. Pick. Yeah, and you didn't like that at all. You didn't like the fact that he was hobbling on and well, the, the fact that, that he came out to bat, it, it suggests that he's probably worse than you think. Okay, now, if it was one of those injuries where you know if you send someone out and if, if it's a week injury or a ten day injury and you, you send someone out to play and it could make it into a three or four week injury, you wouldn't do it. Yeah, I, I get a feeling that that's that's a bad injury. And you basically you're thrown out there, Liam, to try and try and hit five or six sixes, which he nearly did, uh, to get his team over the line. Even though it was a long shot, he's a kind of player that can do anything because he can hit a long ball. Uh, the fact that he was thrown there and he was hobbling around suggests that it's not great. They thought, I mean, they thought they'd do a Maxwell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That doesn't happen. Yeah, it doesn't happen every day, does it? Uh, what did the bowlers do? We're talking about the bowlers, of course, for Lucknow. Uh, what did they do? The story, of course, we've spoken about him. Mayank Yadav, that's the story. Bowled his four overs for 27. Mohsin too. Picked up uh, three wickets, but Mohsin was, uh, yeah, Mohsin was good as well. He picked up two wickets, uh, giving away uh, 34. Uh, and then there you have, uh, they bowled the young uh, uh, Mani Maran Siddharth, opened the bowling with Just his, look at those uh, dots uh, as well, though, Gary. If you look at the dots of uh, Mayank Yadav, 12 yeah. dots. Yeah. So Those, not only is he bowling, usually when you've got pace bowlers, you, you can always get off strike and as soon as it hits the bat, you're running. You know, he bowled with great accuracy as well. Which And those those bounces that he bowled to the new player, Jitta Sharma went out there, he bowled a couple of yeah. snorters yeah. past the uh, the nose end, just gave him a little bit of a shave of, shave of the nostrils. Yeah. Um, but to bowl 12 dots as well is, uh, yeah. is why they built up that pressure and the panic station started to be you know, crazy. You get, yeah. a single, you get a single, but you've got to, you know, touch the bat to the ball if you can't do that. Yeah. At that pace, it's tough to do that. You can't get the single. Most days, you look at that bowling lineup and say, wow, Mohsin can't bowl well. Yeah. It's just that today we're talking about pace, but here are two young fast bowlers. Between them, eight overs, five for 61, mm-hmm. with 22 dots. Yeah. Wow. That's one six innings straight away. 22 is the total number of dots that Sunrise has played in that ridiculous innings. Yeah. But 22 dot balls from two bowlers mm. is fantastic. Five for 61 in eight overs. Yeah. So, and he was bowling around 142, by the way. Someone who's coming out of a terrible injury. Yeah. So it, it augurs really well for them if they can have these two bowling like that. But as Michael said, now when the experienced batters come back and play them again, he talked about bat being a little higher. They'll, they'll adapt. They'll be ready with a game plan for him. Now it's going to be great fun watching him. You know, the thing is, there's two bounces. Does he bowl a Yorker, for example? Can you imagine him if he, if he learns to bowl a Yorker? And it's this two bouncer rule works for you know. Perfect. Mayank Yadav is enjoying that. Tell you somebody else who enjoys it. Krunal Pandya. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a bouncer as well. Mm, nice yeah. uh, variations. <laughs> yeah. Not going to put it on a plate for Liam Livingston just to launch over his head. I, I think he's a tremendous cricketer, Krunal. Mm. I just think he's Street got. Smart. Oh yeah, you'd want to mean your team. You know the way that he batted, he created that cameo, that momentum, that impact with the bat in hand, with the boy. Didn't give it a massive rip, but he's just always subtly just changing his pace. Yeah. Bowls some tough overs as well. Yeah. And he does bowl to left-handers. Yeah, he does. He does. Good one. Uh, let's talk about uh, the left-handed captain for Punjab. And of course, Johnny Bairstow, his opening partner. They did really well. They can uh, look at themselves. and they, yeah, they did slow down. So, of course, in 11th and 12th, uh, it was those 10 balls mm. that really slowed them down after they'd done well in the first half. Remember, they were 97 at the end of 10 overs. Uh, Harsha had in the mid-show said the opening partnership, if it can give them 100 in 10 overs, they'll be happy. You, you should have yeah. asked for... I was going to say a million dollars, but he has a few of those already. So you should have asked for a billion dollars. They would have come. We would have shared them. Yeah. 230 million each less taxes. Correct. I'd, I'd trade that happily to win one of our prediction games. Oh, we <laughs> <laughs> But we just said you it know what? anyway. If you give me a billion dollars, I'll take my name out of the competition. <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm not even playing anymore. I'd retire. I'm uh, just trying to look at, I'm, I'm looking at Shikhar Dhawan. 
Yeah. Since you mentioned Shikhar, he's 59 of 39 balls. He's mm. all set up. A player like him, you look at a Kohli, you look at the Dhoni, you look at the great finishers. 59 of 39, 11 overs, 101 for no loss. They're taking home from there. Yeah. He's finished 70 of 50. Mm. Which means his next 21 runs have come off 21 balls. He's not finished the game there. Yeah. So he's done really well up to that point. But from there on, he's been part of the sluggishness of the innings that you talked about between, say, 10 and 16 or 10 and 7. It was, it was one time when we calculated it was 44 of 39, of, balls. Of 39 balls. He had to finish the game from there, Shikhar. Yeah. And finish with, say, 102 not out or a 90. Hmm. Well, I don't, don't think, I think the likes of Shikhar, the way that he plays, even Virat, the way that he plays, he's a brilliant player. But I, I think the way they play is quite a traditional way. Yes. And they will get an 80 off a 55 or an 80 off a 52 when they're playing really well. But they need cameos around them. Yeah. They need firecrackers. Yeah. And I look at the Punjab, particularly now that uh, Liam Limson looks like he could be out. That middle order, it, 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 it's yeah. not great. Hmm. Let, let's be honest, they, they, they don't have much there. If you look at that 3-4, you know, no Livingston now, Sam and Curran, who's a, a wonderful player, but you know, is he a, a 3 and a 4 in a T20 team? Probably not, he's a 5 and a 6. I, I don't look at them. I mean, the, the top two are obviously full of experience and have been magnificent for the game, but I look at that batting lineup and think, yeah. I, I don't think I'd be too scared bowling at that. Yeah. I, I would, personally, because yeah. I can't bowl. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but a, a number of good bowling attacks and teams will be looking at that team thinking, we should yeah. be able to restrict Come on, them. we get your spinning wicket, I'm sure you can still get a couple <laughs> through the gate, huh? Just yeah. a few. A little crazy. It's 11 of 11. Did I say 21 of 21 thereafter? 59 of 39, you got 11 of 11. Yeah, 11 of 11. Yeah, but not, the not fact 12. is that the entire Punjab juggernaut of the first 10 just completely slowed down. Yeah. 10 to 16. So you know, so Those 42 balls, I think I've got them, if I calculated correct, 47 runs. You can't get 47 or 42 at any stage of the game and then win it. You know, sometimes it's, a, it's an unpopular opinion, but it's, it's valid in this form of the game. If, you, if you're like Shikhar, you've batted brilliantly in the first 10 overs. You've played your part already. Mm. Are you the best player from there on, to be batting 10 to 20. Do you have the skills then to say, okay, I'll up my game from where I am and I'll take you home. Do you have those skills? Otherwise, it's actually not such a bad idea if someone else is then coming and taking you home from there. Yeah, but that's and that whole traditional thing of do you no, never give a wicket away, right? Absolutely, but sometimes in T20 cricket, you've got dashers sitting in there. It's an unpopular opinion. It's a left field opinion, but sometimes okay because you've played your part and say, Okay, I've played my part because I've taken the team to 98 of 10 overs. Yeah. Well, that, that, this is the problem for Punjab. They don't have that many dashes. They don't have correct. Yeah. If they, they, had, if they had a Puran to follow, for example, or someone like that to follow, yeah. it might actually have made sense for Shikhar to say, right, this is, I've done, now I'll go after every ball. Yeah, but... If it, it comes off, it comes off. If I get out, I get out, that's okay. But, you know, if the way he batted in the first 10, if he actually did that and, you know, Harakiri and threw his wicket away in the 11th saying, well, I, 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 I just think he needed someone with him. Mm. Yeah. You know, I just think he needed a partner. I think he had a, you know, a little bit of cameo over a 21 off six or seven, which is great, a nice little momentum cameo, but you know, Jittish was six off six, yeah. and all of a sudden the momentum completely stopped, and then it becomes very, very difficult. I think Prabh Simran hit the ball well. There was yes. a couple of shots he hit well. I think he just got a little too greedy. Or maybe he felt, because asking rate was that much, that somebody had to play that innings. He, yeah. he plays another 10 balls at that speed. Suddenly yeah. the game has changed. But I, I think when he got out, the asking rate was like eight and a half or something. It was nothing mental. It was like nine or something. Yeah, but the asking rate. It's still okay. Nineteen of seven. Yeah, no, but I'm just saying that the when when he the way he was batting, right, and when he tried to hit that shot that he got out to as well, Michael, it, it looked like the asking rate was thirteen or fourteen at that point in time. Yeah, let's, uh, let's uh, still uh, like uh, six uh, overs to go. Well, he, and he, he just hit a couple of sixes as well, so he yeah. kind of created that that buzz back towards his team, but. Oh, I think he's that kind of player that once he starts to go, he yeah. just goes and goes and tries to hit the, the big ball, the big boundaries. Uh, I, I would just be concerned the Punjab depth in the batting line doesn't look, look strong. They don't yeah. look to have too many firecrackers in the middle. It's, uh, it's a concern for Punjab, particularly now Leon Livingston looks like he might be out. Mm. All right, well, there was a lot of cool moments. Uh, today there was a lot of heat as well. Uh, there were some cool moments. Uh, we shall pull a few of those out for you. Our carrier room air conditioners Coolest moment of the match. We, of course, have our, our, our opinion, but we want your opinion as well. So, 
Now we've got a few uh, tweets into this. You call them tweets, messages, posts, X's. X's. You can do your impact sub thing again. We've got a few X's. <laughs> yeah. in. Some of your X's. Some of your X's are here, man. We're gonna have a party afterwards. Uh, all right. Some of you <laughs> have sent these in. The season is good for left-handers, says uh, Ahmed. Uh, yes. Well, and the day today was definitely good. T20 is always good for left-handers, man. Yeah. T20 is always good. Mm. It was you have to good. have two in the top six every day. Yeah. Well, it's left-hand drive. And provided they're good enough to be in the top six. But yep. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> left-hand drive today. Okay. The next one. Bring him. Bring him. Keep him. Keep him. Keep him. Keep him. Come here. There you go. Krunal Pandya, declining singles in the last over and avoiding eye contact with Justin Langer while the team fell <laughs> short of Where do they pick it up from? <laughs> Ramesh. <laughs> well done, Ramesh. There's no T. Ramesh is no T, isn't he? <laughs> You're a little no T. Uh, it turned out to be enough uh, at the end of the day. And also, he was batting with Naveen at the time, I think. So, it's fine if he says he, he wants to connected a play. few, so he thought I'll... Yeah, yeah so we play a couple of more balls. All right, uh, the next one. Uh, bring it. Mayank uh, Yadav touching 156 in the second over itself. That's from Sham Prasad. I think Sham Prasad, if I remember correct, I think one joy factor yesterday. Didn't I make a joke? I said it's the evening and you've got some Prasad. I, think, I just only remember things from jokes. So I think he did. Well, no, yeah, you're right. The fireballs he was throwing were quite a cool moment. Yeah, seems a little... Uh, yeah, seems a little contrary to uh, the term, but yeah, that was pretty cool. A bowler coming out, bowling 156, somebody you haven't seen before. That is pretty cool. Michael, your cool moment? That was it. That's the one? Yeah, the, the uh, 156 kilometers an hour deliver you this term. You don't see many. Yeah. You can you can pretty much put it on your hands, show it back to us, Sean Tate, Brett Lee. I don't know many that have bowled 156 kilometers an hour. And this, uh, this young chap, 21 years of age, first time of asking, there you go, 156. <laughs> Done. You know, I was going to say the 10th over when he first came on, but then I think I'm going to steal my coolest moment from Michael. He talked about that shot that Shikhar played. Yeah. That was so cool. Yeah. This guy's running in hard. As a batter, what do you do? You say, okay, come on. Four. Yeah. So I, that was my coolest moment. I st stole it from him, but he didn't say it, so, you know. Fair enough. Okay. I think <laughs> Pretty I'm, cool. I've yeah. got one as well. I, it was, I was going to say Mayank Yadav, but not too many people have said that. So I'm going to say Liam Livingston hitting... Despite a gap. <laughs> yeah. Boom. You know you're not having a good day when you're limping, your team's kind of got derailed on the chase, and then you connect one which you think is going to go 10 rows back, and it hits one little target <laughs> that's floating in the sky. Right? So I think it's pretty cool. You, I'm, know, I'm, you know what the, what the production crew would have hoped for? What? They would have hoped that if it has to hit something, it hits the cable. Yeah. It's still a dead ball, yeah. but the camera's safe. Yeah. <laughs> Those are expensive, expensive. cameras. Yeah, but those are expensive cameras. What, 50, 60? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. 50, 60,000 yeah. pounds? Yeah. 50, 60,000 okay. pounds. Might be more. Might be more. They're very expensive, those cameras. Wow. Wow. Mm, okay. Well, yeah. So I still think it was cool. <laughs> it's not my money, so I still think it was pretty cool. It's like Elise Perry hitting the car, breaking the window of the car. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit like that. Elise Perry hit a six, broke the car window, <laughs> and they took the broken window pane out, framed it, and gave it to her as a gift. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> I think we've all broken enough uh, yeah. windows growing up playing cricket. So, yeah, it's a bit uh, nostalgic, that one. All right, we've got one late entrant onto this as well. Yeah, before we close the segment out, bring it up. Coolest moment is Gaurav Kapoor ruling the guessing game. No, he's not ruling. He's rolling. Neeraj Patak. It's rolling. Uh. He's rolling. That's right. doesn't matter. A little typo. I allow the typo. <laughs> His name is also late. It's late. His name says, Neeraj says it's late. He's put three Zs. Correct, but can I look at that again? Because wasn't that your earlier social media handle once? That's right, that's me. Uh -huh. that's, that's my cousin who sits in Punjab and tweets for me. Uh, so <laughs> Punk there you zone. Go. Punk zone. <laughs> I am punk zone. Uh, yes, you are right. It is, uh, it is a pretty cool moment. And you know what? I'm going to change my submission. And I'm going to say me ruling. Uh, actually, again, this is counterintuitive because I'm actually burning up the charts. Right? But that is a cool moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you got the charts? I have got the chart. Hmm. I have got the chart. I'm just getting it made. I just make my picture a little bigger. Yeah, I mean, but, but, but uh, yeah, it's, though, it's, a, it's a cricket show eventually. Yeah. Though, <laughs> and, it's, and it's early. <laughs> it's early. We have time. Uh, so that was the carrier room air conditioner's <laughs> coolest moment of the match. That's right. Plenty of those. And uh, the one that, uh, of course, I liked, you know. And uh, let me just rub it in a little bit. Bring it. Bring in the chart. Bring in the chart. 
Yeah, come on. Come on, bring it! There you go, they made my picture so big. <laughs> Love it. There you go. 56 point, one second. I just got one right today. How have I, how's my percentage not? Ooh. Because you were 44. No, no, no. Okay, uh, one sec. Because the first one, none of us got. And the second one, I no, got. Before, so basically, I've not moved. This morning, you were, this morning, you were 44 because you had to start to earn it rather than be gifted it. <laughs> yeah. And so you went down to 44 and then we right. looked at your face and so, thought, I'm sorry, I can't guy. hear what you're saying because I'm too is, busy seeing 12.5 against your name. Is that you? Yeah, that's me from <laughs> my youth. <laughs> That's me under the beard. <laughs> wow. That's me under the beard. Yeah, so there you go. I, there's, uh, there's a few, there's no contenders there, but yeah, hopefully. Hopefully these kids will catch up someday. <laughs> yeah, we have a joy factor question as well. Harsha, you're looking for the win on the roof. <laughs> the joy factor question. Uh, Mr. Bhogle, I really request you, I, I've, my back's hurting. Can you just read this question out? Because it just takes like five minutes. Please, this is the reason why you went to the top management school of India. Please read this for me. In test cricket, this particular record was set. Proper achieved record, not just a guest record, but a proper achieved record. Yes. Uh, so it's not your league. <laughs> this, <laughs> this particular record was set in the very first test. That's the big clue there. The very first test it stood the test of time. That's just joy playing with words. Among Indians, Lakshman leads the list. What is the record and who holds it? My guess was... Mm -hmm. My guess at that time, maximum run scored, a uh, percentage run scored by one player yes. in, the, in the entire innings. And I thought Charlie Bannerman, that first test match, he got 100 and something out of very few. That was yeah. my guess. I, I, don't, I was not born then, so I don't know. Yeah. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> What's the answer? Come on. Give us the answer. Get it. You got it written. Oh, See? look at you. Oh, nice. Wow. Yeah, I think. Yeah. There you go. At least he's getting his guesses correct in one aspect of the show. So that's no, no, really good. No, no. The world recognizes knowledge, <laughs> not guesses. <laughs> well, you know so, something? We have a bit of tape that says, my guess is that it's the highest percentage of runs. No, it's my, just, it's just. I was worse. just trying to be nice to you. The world recognizes knowledge, intuition. <laughs> 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 okay, we have. I, I just hope that the other person who wins is as gracious in victory as Mr. Bogle is. Well done, Gaurav Kapoor. Well done. May you continue to guess very well. Yeah, thank you. There you go. Let me let me guess who the winner will be. Is it Sham Prasad? Is it Krik Rohit? Is it I'm out of names? That's it. Punks rocks. <laughs> who do we have? Akshat Shet. That was going to be my third guess, to be honest. Uh, but uh, Akshat Shet is uh, the first person who got that right. And that's joy, by the way, Michael. That's, that's joy not looking very joyous. That's the only picture of, that's the only angry picture of joy in the history of the world, in the internet. It's the only angry picture. But that's it, Professor Bhattacharya. You can't guess my question's answer. Yeah. Unfortunately for him, he's now known on X, Twitter, everywhere, as CBSE Bhattacharya. That's, again, I... These are just things I do. That's the PR Sinam, Dark Nam. Dark Nam for Bengali is his pet name. All right, uh, well, uh, that's it. Is That's business, yeah? It's business about today's game. Mm. Let's uh, talk about uh, tomorrow's game because Sunday means a double header, means two games. And what are the two games here? Let's have a look uh, at them. The first game that is uh, going to be played is going to be Gujarat versus Hyderabad. This is going to be in Ahmedabad. Uh, remember one thing that uh, Gujarat is coming off one good win against Mumbai and then that loss against uh, Chennai. And I'm sure that loss is going to hurt them because that was a big one. It was a big loss. Uh, Sunrisers, on the other hand, coming out of a heartbreaking loss hmm. to post a mammoth score and that, and that huge win. Yeah. So I think they're coming into this game with, with different thoughts in their mind. But for Gujarat, yes, you're right. It'll hurt. That was that was a big defeat. Yeah, that was a big defeat. We have a look at the team, the Gujarat team, and see, um, you know, if they'd make any uh, changes to that. Uh, don't think so. They're not the kinds, sorry, who make changes. But there is a there's a gun bat there called Shah Rukh Khan. Ashish Nair had yeah. spoken about him before uh, it started, before the competition started. He said, you're going to see Shah Rukh Khan be the hero. Uh, would you, by any chance, slot him in? You know what he's uh, what he's capable of, Michael? Yeah, I mean, you could. I, I, I wouldn't be panicking just yet. They've only, they've only played two. They've won one. I thought in that first game where they beat Mumbai, um, you know, I didn't think they missed 
Hardik in the second game when they got battered by Chennai. It looked like they missed Hardik from last year. It's kind of that kind of situation. Shubman Gill needs a few runs, needs to get him off to a flyer. Obviously yeah. the skipper. Um, oh, I think on, on paper they're a decent side. I guess Spencer Johnson, he's a, a fresh bowler for them. Uh, he's done OK. So I, I think with, with this franchise, why, why they've been successful over the, the course of the two years is because they've been consistent. Yeah. So I don't think they'll be at that stage of just swapping and changing too much just yet. If they lose tomorrow, I think then it'll be the, the time to start going, OK, let's look at a, a couple of new combinations. But um, against Chennai, they just had one of those nights, didn't they? And yeah. night there, Chennai played great and they didn't turn up and play at all. That happens in T20 cricket. Yeah, my fear for them is they tend to want, need somebody who will play 3-4-5, 3-4-5 so they can unleash the Millers and the Tevatias and the Rashids. And sometimes it's too late. Yeah. I mean, Tevatia probably ends up playing 100 balls in the whole tournament. Yeah. So by the time he comes in, it's often too late. As happened the other, that day. I mean, Tevatia hit 6 of 11. He was just not in. But he had no time to get himself in. So sometimes I think they fill it till too late. That is the role that Hardik Pandey was playing so well for them. Could you just move Batting them all up? Like, I mean, Sai is at three. Sai, Kisho, uh, Sai Sudarshan is at three. Could you just move David Miller to four, Tevatia to five? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Or maybe Umar Zai at five and Tevatia at six. Yeah, that, yeah. that way. And, then and they were doing that Rashid last year seven. because Rashid was batting at seven. Yeah. And if you give Rashid 10 balls, he can, he can give you 20, 25 runs. Yeah. But they've got Vijay Shankar there at four, which means that everybody moves yeah. uh, a slot down. But you've just but got to find out what's best for you. Yeah. Perhaps at this point in time, yeah, moving them up. So... People like Miller, Tevatia, Omar Zai, Rashid, they've got, they've got that, they've got an interesting middle, but you can't let the middle come at the end. No, I mean, the key to Gudra is Shubman. Mm -hmm. You know, he's such a good player. You know, if he can get consistent at the top of the order and start to get him off to, you know, flyers, he is that kind of player. If he is there at the 10th over, he's got the game to go from 10 to 16, 17 and get 100. Yeah. You know, he's that good a player. And, you would think for Gujarat to go to the stages that we've seen him get to in the last two years, I think Shubman's going to have to find some form. OK, and then on the other side, there's the Hyderabad team. They got 277 in the previous match, so they're definitely not making any changes no. to their batting. And anything they do from there is a climb down. Can you imagine yeah. 277? That was, that was just insane hitting. Yeah. Insane hitting. But it was interesting, Abhishek Sharma got player of the match. Because I, I thought at that stage when the, when, when the runs start to just slow down a little, he just kept going, kept going, kept going. So they've got Abhishek Sharma in form. They've got Travis Head in form. They've got Hendrik Klaassen who doesn't know what being out of form is. Yeah. <laughs> so they've, they've just got a, a batting lineup that's doing well. Mm. And in between all this, they've got, uh, they've got Aidan Markram slipping in there. At some point, they've got to figure out what Aidan Markram's role is going to be because he's a quality player too. Yeah. But there's so much talent. Can you imagine Glenn Phillips coming into bat after? Uh, after Klaassen. I just find it absolutely tragic that a player like Glenn Phillips who would make it to every T20 team in the world is sitting on the bench. Or oh, Marco Jansen. Mm. Yeah. But Glenn yeah, Phillips. but uh, I think Travis said at the top of the order on these wickets, you, know, you saw what he did in the World Cup final, he just yeah. loves batting on these slow yeah. wickets. Did where? Did all right? Yeah, did I don't when? know, I can't remember. When did was when? that? When was that? I don't know, I think, I think Australia, <laughs> I think they might have beaten India <laughs> in the final. <laughs> My man, you've got a couple of legends on the wall that lifted a World yeah. Cup or two. So in our calendars, there's 18th of November and yeah. there's 20th of November. Yeah. And this one it's doesn't really exist. Really okay, you just erased it. <laughs> it's gone. Yeah. It's okay. gone. Well, apparently Travis Head played well. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> apparently, that's what we. Yeah. That's what the rumour is. Yeah. Heard. I think he did all right. In so Ahmedabad, I, where I, he's going I, tomorrow. And I think he plays quite well on these slower wickets <laughs> like we saw in his, his yeah. game the other day. So, oh, at the top of the order, he's dangerous. He really is with those first six overs. And he's just got that. That, that mindset, he goes from ball one. Mm. Yeah. I think they're given the license to do that yeah. as well. So. Where are they on the points table? Uh, let's have a quick look where both these teams are. Uh, remember, they both have one win from uh, two games. But of course, the net run rate. The net run rate for Gujarat getting severely affected after that loss against uh, Chennai. So that's uh, made them slide I mean, down. After about seven or five ball, they really should have been four points. Yep. Really should have been four points. Yeah, yeah. but uh, of course... Uh, the Knight Riders got that win, so... The other thing top. for Hyderabad is when you make 277, that net, net run rate has got to be much better than 0.675, but yeah. Mumbai went hard as well yeah. and didn't lose by enough yeah. to allow that net run rate to go Yeah, up. Mumbai batted well definitely the other day and uh, kind of made sure that they lessened that uh, blow off quite a bit. Player to watch out for, for each team? Quick call. Oh. Hyderabad? Klassen. Oh. It was just a question of who you're asking first. Klassen. Yeah. Now, Klassen is... 
See, both same class. Oh, she also say class. Mm -hmm. She also feel the same class. That's okay. We choose a different guy, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'll choose Abhishek just for fun. Mm -hmm. Just throw it in there. Pick Abhishek Sharma. And uh, for Gujarat, Shubman. Okay. He has to. I mean, last year you saw how he picked up the side. He made 890 runs. No one scores 890 runs twice. Yeah. But he has to get a 600 run season for them. 600, okay. 650 run season. So, so who are you? Shubman Gill has to because I don't see. Look, Sai, this, this Sai Sudarshan, there's Ridhiman Saha, David Miller plays a sort of very good 35 ball kind of batter playing in that role. So, who's providing the big substance and the speed? It's really up to him. It's, it's a big test for him. So, so I'm going Shubman too. Oh, you both, are, look at you. Both. I mean, it's easy to say Rashid Khan or you're something like, a like that. You're like a band, both of you. You're singing the same songs. <laughs> Excellent. All right, let's move to the uh, second game tomorrow. There's two, of course. It's uh, Sunday. And the action for that one moves to Vishakapatnam. Delhi uh, is playing their home game against uh, Chennai. Of course, it is very close to Chennai, but it's Delhi's home game, go figure, right? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> uh, Mr. Bogle will be there tomorrow, of course, uh, at the game. But uh, yeah, if you just look at it, for Delhi, jeez, uh, man, it's, it's not going good, Michael. It's just not going good for Delhi. No, two and two, they've lost. Um, oh, I just think, I mean, Rishabh, obviously the, the story of his uh, comeback's remarkable. Just, just seeing back on a cricket field is great, but you know, it's going to take him a few games to potentially get that, that firecracker back flying. It's all about the top of the order. I think in the last few years, the top order's just not quite fired and they've kind of changed lots of combinations at Delhi. Um, they just need a win. <laughs> However, the, it's it's just when you sometimes just desperately need a win, you look around your dress room and just hope one or two of your players stand out and, and produce some magic. We've seen that from a young quick bowler today. Um, Ricky Ponting, he'll be saying to that group of players, come on, just someone step up. Just yeah. need, just, they just need a spark. Yeah. If you get a spark in T20 cricket, you get one win, particularly against a quality team like Chennai, who, who have been typical CSK. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter who's the captain; they seem to just play this method that they've created over many, many years. They all just know their roles and they're, they're identified perfectly. If you can get your first win against a team like Chennai, it can give you a massive boost. Mm -hmm. So it's, a, I was, is it a must win for Delhi tomorrow already? Well, they lost I, I would say it probably is a must win for Delhi at this stage of the tournament. Even so, though we're, yeah. we're early days, I wouldn't want to go Norton three, three yeah. right at the start of the IPL. Yeah, especially when all the other teams are just looking so good, right? Yeah. Uh, lot dependent on Mitchell again. Marsh. Yeah, it's the same story again. Much like Punjab, not yeah. enough India batting. Yeah. Mm. And so they've. Uh, we talked about the fact that they're one India batter. Pretty sure they're not playing him because they want Mitch Marsh to open the batting. I, I won't be surprised if they just, I, as I said, if there's no other issue around side, he's not batting well in the nets, for example. Mm. I'd like to see them go back to Prithvi Shaw and Mitch Marsh batted three ways. One, uh, he's won tournaments for uh, Australia in the past from number three. Yeah. So that might be a, the, the way to go to try and extend that. Because if you see after that, I mean, Warner's experience, your overseas players, your, your batting that day was Tristan Stubbs, Abhishek Porel, Ricky Bhui. Mm. Now, they want to play Fraser McGurk at some point. You don't know what the track in Vishakhapatnam is going to be. Uh, typically, Aussie batters who come to India struggle sometimes when it's a little slow. So, I think they've got to find a place for, uh, for Prithvi Shaw. Yeah, in, but in if you bring Fraser McGurk in, who's... Place does he play? Uh, Stubbs has played. Stubbs well got forty two the other day, yeah. 40 yeah Mitchell Marsh you're not dropping, so then Warner you're not Warner? dropping and, and no. Nokia, though you can see it at twenty five, is no, still. I your, mean he's he's your let's say if he was to come yeah. in slide in for a batter any or an international team, batter. Any team that has three overseas batters in the top five or six is always struggling. Yeah. Ideally you want two quicks or a, a seam bowling all rounder and a fast bowler as your two overseas players. Mm. So but they're being forced to play three overseas batters, yeah. sometimes four. Yeah. Uh, as, as they did on, in, in their first game. Mm. So that means already you're in trouble. So you've got to find a way to get Prithvi Shaw back in yeah. and then see if you can uh, if you can adjust the balance thereafter. Yeah. Or Yash Dhul. Say, okay, Yash Dhul, you go and open the batting. Yeah, I mean... Or three, yeah. or three, whatever. Prithvi Shaw was not in their 11. He was not even in the impact sub list. So he wasn't even in their 16. No. So, no. I don't know. There's no word come out from the Delhi camp yet. But uh, obviously, uh, something is amiss there. Players to watch out for tomorrow. Come on. Look at uh, the ball. Who's cool, it? Cool deep, yeah. I, I think the batting has been a problem for Delhi, but if they can get a score, I just think he's bowling beautifully. I saw that in the test, so he's just getting that, that ball out of the hands with so much pace, drift. He's got all the variations, so it's uh, it's just getting the number. Get a number on the board, I think uh, he can win them games. Cool deep, yeah. Is yours? For, for, yeah, so my, uh, for, for Delhi? Yeah. Yeah, I think, no, but I'd 
you'll again say that I'm going back with you. You can, you can, please. If you're Not a man, you're, I don't want to break up Simon and Garfunkel. <laughs> <laughs> Tom and Jerry. <laughs> Tom and Jerry never sing the same tune. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I still think one of the India players got to stand up. I don't know who that is, but an India player has got to stand up. Okay, so you've basically picked and seven find, players to watch out? And I can't find that India player to uh, stand up. So I, either Kuldeep or Akshay, but they're both bowlers. Yeah. They need an India batter. So someone, Yash Dhul, Prithvi Shaw, Ricky Bui, somebody, one of those has Okay. My player to watch out for would still be Kuldeep though. All right, great. So uh, Simon come, and Garfunkel are saying Kuldeep. Can you come to me first for the player to watch <laughs> will, out for, for Chennai? Chennai. I'm picking Mitchell Marsh for tomorrow. Mm. And as far as the Chennai team is concerned, I don't even want to show you their team list and ask if there'll be any changes because the answer is no. 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 Rachin Ravindra, before you go to my... Moving on. <laughs> yeah. They've got everything answered. And it's, it seems like, like Rachin Ravindra's knock, like the other day, it's... Uh, we, we know he's talented, right? But that day he did a level unlock even for all of us watching. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's a class act. Yeah, yeah he really is. He's... I would say he's probably he's in that little group of uh, new players that have come into the game, but he's got that stardust of, of real quality. Mm. You know, I think we're going to be speaking about Ratchin for year after year, after World Cup after World Cup. I just think he's got a natural ability just to play cricket. You know, he can bowl a bit of this. He fields well with a bat. He's got as good a bat swing as, as you could find. He's got options on the offside, the onside, short yeah. balls, full balls, gain spin. Uh, he's got absolutely everything covered and he just slots into CSK. Mm -hmm. You know, I look at uh, CSK and, and all this talk today, you know, we, we're talking about, you know, do you send a left-hander and, you know, can a left-armer spin a ball to a, a left-hander? Of course you can. I think what CFK do better than all the other teams is they play the percentages better. So they just mm -hmm. do the disciplined basics of the game better than any other team. Yeah. And I think yeah. they speak in the team and go, if we deliver the basics, let the other teams kind of outthink themselves. Yeah. Look at also the players that they pick in their side, temperamentally, attitudinally. They've picked Rachin Ravindra, Ruturaj Gaikwad, Ajinkya Rahane, yeah. Moin Ali, Daryl Mitchell. Those kind of players were just quiet, tough team players. Hashtag no fuss. No fuss. <laughs> tough, but tough. Yeah. I mean, there's a very famous story of CSK wanting to pick a well-known player. And when they put it to Dhoni, he said, uh, no, he might spoil the team climate. He's not a team player. Oh. No, doesn't matter. We won't play him. Yeah. And they've just reinvented themselves. So what I like about Rachin Ravindra, the reason I said Rachin Ravindra before you go to him, was he's not playing for a landmark. He's not saying, okay, I've got to 40, so hang in there, get your own 50. No, he's got, he's got first game, he got 37 of 15. Mm -hmm. Second game, he got some 46 of 20. What are, he's, he's, he's played his part. You keep going. Yeah. Are That's you, the way you play T20 cricket. Is he your player to watch out for yeah. as well? Ravi Jadej is always mine. Oh. Love him. Rock star. Well, at least the thing is they both picked a Ravindra, <laughs> right? So they've still sort of sung the same tune, but they've just harmonized. They've just sung it at a different... I found it, I found it. Simon and Garfunkel are on song today. Who's my player to watch out for? Mm. Shivam Dube. Mm. Shivam Dube. Another great Fine. example of someone who goes to CSK, gets a very clear role assigned, yeah. and is now comfortable playing that role because they're only going to judge him by that role. Mm. Yeah. We need someone to demolish the spinners in the middle overs. That's been a problem. Shivam Dubey, you. You go and demolish. He came in that day with five balls left in the left hand is over. Yeah. After Ajinkya Rahane had got out and he hit two of those for sixes. Yeah. Straight yeah. away it's a 12-run over. You know, the, uh, what Chennai does with at least India players is, uh, with India players is RO, right? Not reverse osmosis. He does uh, reinvent love, and optimize. I love the way he let it slip that he knows what reverse osmosis is. <laughs> no, I just, I just know what RO means, reverse osmosis. You've been watching all reverse that. Reverse osmosis is, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Something that purifies water. But uh, he, they reinvent and they optimize. And they do, they do that so well. We're very tempted to say he does that so I'll well. I'll tell you what else to do. It's not the captain. Better than most of the teams. They get the white ball swinging. Yeah. In the first four overs, Eric Simon, the bowling coach, I think he's still there. He, he works wonders with the seam bowlers because they always just get, they generally always open with seam and they always go to swing. Yeah. How, how often do you see Stephen Fleming in the spotlight? Yeah. How often do we even know Eric Simons is still there? Yeah. It's very understated. Understated team. But they've always swung the ball. Yeah. 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 Deepak Chahar is swinging the ball. Fizz, Fizz got it to come back in a little. Swing. swing. All right, we're going to swing out of here now.
Uh, we're going to see you uh, tomorrow, of course, at, seven, uh, at 3 o'clock. There's two games tomorrow. i remind you of the points table again before we uh, sign off, just so that you know what's at uh, stake tomorrow. Chennai can consolidate their lead uh, right at the top, uh, go to six points from there. Yeah, right most column. Look at the right most column for Chennai. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, big wins. So yeah. they're almost at plus two. It's insane. Uh, so they're well, safe to say they're doing really well. Uh, and then, of course, uh, teams eight and nine, they want to get the points and, and kind of push up towards uh, the top half of uh, the table. So, yeah, it's going to be an interesting day of uh, cricket tomorrow. Well, that's all we have time for today. So we're going to scoot out of here. Big thank you to Michael Vaughan and Harsha Bhogle. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Thank you for being here on this Saturday night. I'm Gaurav Kapoor. You were watching Crick Buzz Live. We'll see you tomorrow at uh, 3 p.m. Thanks for watching. Good night. Delhi Express, Station, Data Deep